Wow! Let me do it again. Zoom! Did you notice that? I learnt it from my friend. You want to try? Okay, get ready. Let's do it again. Zoom! It is real fun, right? Hi, Timmy. What's up? Oh, I was teaching my friend how to slide on the floor. Cool, but now put on your shoes. Let's go outside and play. Okay, wait. Ta-da! I am ready. Hmm, but hold on. I want to show you something. Now what's that? Oh, I learned to slide. Let me show you how to do that. Is that a game? It's not a game, but I love it. Now look here. Here I go. Oh, oh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is not sliding. You are going to fall. Ask all my friends. I was sliding so well. Guys, please tell her that I can slide. Oh, I trust you. I know you can slide. But what just happened? Hmm, I don't know. I was sliding so well before I put on my shoes. Let me try again. Is something wrong with your shoes? I don't know. These are my new shoes. Let me take these off and try again. Here I go. Yippee! I wonder what happened. I can slide in my socks, but when I put my shoes on, I can't seem to slide. So there is something at the bottom of your shoes that don't let you slide smoothly. Let's do some inquiry. Yeah, let's look at the bottom of my shoe. Can you tell me the difference between your socks and the bottom of your shoes? Hmm. At the bottom, it's not smooth like my socks. <laughs> yeah, it's rough and it is made of rubber. So rough surface of the bottom stops me from sliding. <laughs> when the rough bottom of the rubber rubs against the floor, it causes friction. This friction stops you from sliding. Ah, but what is friction? Let's look at it. Friction is a force between two surfaces that are sliding or trying to slide across each other. For example, when you try to push a book along this table, friction makes this difficult. Hmm, so friction works against the direction of the movement? You are right. Let's look at it. Friction always works in the direction opposite from the direction the object is moving or trying to move. Friction always slows a moving object down or it stops it. So you said friction is a force between two surfaces that are sliding across each other. Mm-hmm. That's right. So when I slide on floor, there is friction between my foot and the floor. Again, you are right. But I have a question. Sure. Go ahead, smart boy. Why can't I slide so easily with my socks but can't slide when I put my shoes on? Very intelligent question. Can you guess the answer? Hmm, I think there is no friction when I slide with socks. But there is friction when I slide with my shoes on. The friction between the shoe and the floor does not let me slide properly. <laughs> you are partly correct. Let's look at this. Ball on smooth surface is moving faster and the ball on rough surface is moving slower. Correct. The amount of friction depends on the material from which the two surfaces are made. The rougher the surface, the greater the friction. And the greater the friction, the slower the ball. Oh, now I know. The bottom of my shoe was rough, so I could not slide but my socks are smoother so I can slide easily. 
You are a genius. Your answer is correct. Can you give me some more examples? Why not? Go get a ball. Here I am. Okay, roll it on the floor. Oh, it goes very far. Now pick it up and roll it on this carpet. Oh, it does not go very far. Mm hmm, you're right. Can you tell me the reason? It is due to difference in surfaces. Floor is more smooth, but carpet surface is rough, so there is more friction. And more friction means? Ball stops nearby. Let me show you one magic of friction. Rub your hands together. Oh, wow. My hands are getting warmer. See? One surface is sliding over the other and the force of friction is generating heat. Wow! Friction produces heat? Are there any other uses of friction? <laughs> yes, there are many uses of friction. Let's say you want to stop your bicycle. What do you do? We press the brakes. The bicycle slows down due to friction between the brake pads and the wheels. Hmm, any other use? Okay, um, look here closely. This is the tire of a car. Can you see something? Oh, the tire surface is very rough. These are called treads. The treads on a car wheel is to increase the friction between the tire and the road. So that the tires don't skid. Even my bicycle tires have treads. Wow, friction is so useful. So friends, here is some homework for you. Oh, don't be sad. It is very easy. Homework number one. Check tires of your bicycle. Do they have treads? And homework number two. Take a ball, roll it on the floor, then roll it on a carpet or grass. And check the speed of the ball on different surfaces. And one more work for now. Please press the like button below this video. And if you like it, you can also play the quiz on MakeMeGenius.com.